<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? This is Backward Noise, episode 277. My name is Hydroxidan, and we're joined by some very calm people right now. Hey guys. What do you mean calm? <laughs> well, I'm just talking about. <laughs> What you're talking about? I don't know. That. This is the calmest intro I've ever had in my entire life. And uh, no one said well, pickle. How about weasel. you include some clacking? Vroom, vroom. <coughs> All right. So on tonight's show, we have Brecken. Hi. How are you? Good. That's nice. Yeah. Full. <laughs> you're full. Yeah. Oh, we yeah we just ate dinner. So yeah. It's <laughs> Makes sense why you would uh, be full. Yeah. Sorry, it took a second because Shane texted me back that he knows it's the right RAM. For him. You know, I just wanted to try to help, and I'm like, I don't know a lot about computers, <laughs> but like, I know there's a wrong RAM. <laughs> you know, I made the mistake of buying the wrong RAM the first time. It really is DDR, though. Yeah. Dance Dance Revolution. I, I thought I was wrong, because I'm like, nah, DDR stands for Dance Dance Revolution. There's no way that that's what, like, the RAM is labeled. Huh. You learn okay. something new every day, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll forget that now. No. <laughs> Alright, so next we have Nick. I agree. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, I, I mean, our infrastructure could use a little work, like you were saying. You know, all we got to do is hire some some beaver labor, and and we could be in business. But yeah. no, no, nobody wants to put up the money for it. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> it's honestly a travesty. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, we have Sky on tonight's show. Things you like getting in trouble. And diamonds, ATM machines. <laughs> really need copyright, Sky. You can't do no, that. That's fine. If I get copyright for this, it's worth it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, like, Guy, that performance was so powerful, the dogs are barking at you. <laughs> I have some supporters, and they're the only one that I want. Oh. <laughs> you know, I, cl I, I clapped, so, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm very tired, is the thing, so I try to wake myself up by singing atrociously, because I was up until 5 a.m. watching Endgame. Oh, oh no. Yeah, Don't really tell problems. me Hashtag no spoiler. anything yeah. about it. <laughs> it was good. I, I will say it's a solid ending, so okay. it's, it's worth it. See, sometimes when people see a movie before me and they say it was a solid ending, I'm like, it, so it sets up another movie? <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, if you're not, like, if you're not trying no, to, no. like... Sky, don't it? say anything. Don't, don't answer that. No, don't, I don't want you to answer I anything. I don't Sky. want to know. No, okay, as right, someone right. who has not seen the movie, I feel like this movie has to set up for the next wave of Avenger movies. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Avenger movies, but like the next wave of Avengers. Do we actually... Right. So as most people who haven't seen this, do we want to make predictions for the movie? Sky, yes. um, <laughs> I love you, but don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> so just confirm, Nick, you haven't seen it either, right? I haven't seen it. Okay. So, does anyone have a bold I Let's start with bold predictions. I don't even know what counts as bold. Because I was assuming that Captain America and uh, Tony Stark are going to die. I thought you were going to say get married. No. That'd be bold prediction. Wow. <laughs> You're right, that is bold. That'd be bold. progressive, too. <laughs> um, I think that Captain America will die. I think I'm not ready for him too, but I think he will. Uh, and then I think Bucky is gonna take up the mantle of Captain. America. We've been talking about Ooh. this for so long. It makes sense. Ever since I think like we were talking about this earlier, actually, like Winter Soldier. Yeah. People have been talking about. All right, so is Bucky gonna be Captain America now? Is he gonna do stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like if this isn't, I don't know when is. Um, then. If it doesn't happen in this movie, I'm going to say that it actually doesn't happen and he doesn't die. Um, or if he does, it's just like, oh, he got old. 
That's so encyclopedic. Yeah, no, like, but I can see put it. Put him back in an ice box. He'll never die. Yes. <laughs> Since say this, put him back in ice again. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I, I don't know. Because there's so many like. Loki. What's up? I want my boy Loki back. Yeah, I would love, I would, I would love Loki to come back. Yeah, so like, I want, I'm, I don't, I guess this is not a bold prediction, maybe it's something I want. I want Gamora to come back. Aww. Because Peter Quill and Gamora are too precious to not be together. Aww. You know? Because. I don't, yeah, like, it makes sense for her to come back, but also, like, didn't she have, like, a really, uh, like, plot-centric death to where she yeah. would be one that wouldn't. Because I assumed, like, anybody, like, who got Who snapped... didn't get snapped yeah. was... Well... That is the interesting thing, because he was the sacrifice for the Soul Stone. Yeah. So, if anything, I would think she is more linked to the Soul Stone than anyone else. Ooh. So, that's what, what, um... Super duper linked. I interpreted the last movie as, mm -hmm. was when he saw young Gamora uh, and talked to her. That's inside the Soul Stone. Yeah. That's at least what I like interpreted it as. Okay. So I'm thinking that, and like we haven't really seen much about it, mm. but I'm assuming that everyone that got snapped ended up in the Soul Stone or something, and like something like that. I don't know. That's a nice little party in there. Yeah, and it just it's probably you know, not it. What's up? User joined just your channel. Existence showing out in yeah. This little rock. Have yeah. a good time, I'm sure. <laughs> Hi Steve. Hi Steve. We're not weird. There's no spoilers here, but we're talking about theories for what we think um, could and should happen in uh, the new Avengers movie. Oh. Uh, Sky has seen well, it, so Sky is sworn to not spoil anything. Did we talk about the the correct theory? Uh. Don't say the Ant Man. Ant Man. No. <laughs> Please, no, 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 not the butt. You remove Steve from the server forever? You can't remove me from my own server. <laughs> yes, I can. That's not how this works. <laughs> yes, I can. Don't make me tab out of my game. <laughs> User was kicked out oh. of the game. <laughs> User joined your channel. You see, but I just come right back. <laughs> Uh, he's like, he's like a roach. So I hate that Ant-Man thing, but it's like, I was trying to tell this to Brecken, and Brecken was just like, stop, before, but I'm like, would it work? Stop. Yes, it would work, <laughs> but like, stop. God, I didn't it know this was a widespread real. thing. It is huge. I only yeah. heard it from Mike, and I'm like, that sounds like something he'd come up with. No, it's, he did not come up with it, yeah. Tony, 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 you, you... You play Smash Bros, so I'm going to tell you two words. Expand Dom. <laughs> uh, uh, Do you understand? Yeah. yeah, I get it. Yep. I hate this. Yeah, I don't like it, though. Alright, so let's go back to <laughs> bold <laughs> predictions for the for Endgame. The title will be bold. Oh. Very good. As opposed to italics, I like it. Yeah, it's a bold, bold prediction. prediction, literally. <laughs> Which words in the movie will be bold? Uh, I wonder. Avengers and Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, alright, I'm going to make a bold prediction that they say the phrase Endgame at least 20 times in a movie. You think so? Yes. You think they're going to drop that title so, really hard? <laughs> I, they're either going to drop that title really hard or once. But I think it's going to be really hard. I'd prefer if it was, like, once. Just so you can go, ah, there it is. But, like, any more than that, it's just like, stop. No, I think they're going to go over cheesy with it. No. And they're going to be like, it's endgame. This is our endgame. Guys, it's endgame. Focus, it's endgame. And end game yeah <laughs> like they they get ready to fight or something they're just like getting think... ready and it's like this is the end game guys this is the end game this is the end game i think they might put a really cheesy laugh track in the background of the whole movie 
<laughs> oh, bold prediction. I like it. I'm a fan. No. <laughs> and it's like, oh, Bruce Banner. Laugh track. Yeah. <laughs> How fun. Okay. This would be messed up. But, um. I, it, it would be f- way funnier if Bruce Banner still, throughout this entire movie, cannot turn into the Hulk and goes the entire movie without becoming the Hulk. <laughs> That'd be really frustrating. <laughs> how great would that be, though? I feel pain. <laughs> but seriously, how great would that be? <laughs> great, you say? Yeah, it, I'd love it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. To me, that's a great theory. I'd love it. Um... So, what if some Freaky Friday shit happens and Captain America and Iron Man swap bodies? Like that one comic where Spider-Man and Doc Ock swap bodies and then Spider-Man died and <laughs> Doc Ock's body? Wait, really? Yeah. You, you was... know what my favorite moment of that comic was? I didn't know about this. That's wild. Doc Ock pulling off the mask and going, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard of that before, actually. <laughs> That's I can figure out Spider-Man's identity. I have no clue who this is. <laughs> it's such a realistic thing that you never put in the time to think about. Yeah. So good. Alright, bold prediction. The Avengers are getting beaten down by Thanos and Thanos' minions. And we're like... Ah, uh, we need help. I don't know who to call for. And then you hear Wham, Carol's Whisper playing, and then you see Deadpool. <laughs> and Deadpool just comes in and starts fighting with Thanos. And Ow. then as he's fighting with Thanos, he pops up on our screen again. It's like, bet you didn't see expect me here, huh? <laughs> and that's uh, how they beat Thanos. Deadpool. Well, well, here's my hot take with Deadpool, is that Deadpool comes in, you know, just like before, how you're saying. Yeah. Except, him and Thanos are, are laying it down on each other, and he can't kill Deadpool, because Deadpool can't die. Yeah. And he's like, yo, I made out with Death, your girlfriend, what are you gonna do about it? And he's like, I'm gonna keep killing you forever. And he's like, alright, cool. Oh, isn't something. there like... It's a, it's a Doctor Strange. Our mom will have come to bargain. Yeah. <laughs> Dorma. Was there a thing where, like, in the comics that uh, Thanos also really liked death? Oh, that was his whole thing. Yeah. yeah, that, that's, yeah that's the thing. Original motivation. Thing. So, like, him and Deadpool would actually probably yeah, they would fight. fight over death. Oh, no, no. The, the interesting thing in the comics is that Thanos was jealous that uh, death actually had a thing with Deadpool. Yeah. Oh, my God. And so... He cursed Deadpool to never be able to die so that he can't be be uh, in be person with death. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's funny. So, so he made Deadpool even more immortal than before. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do love, well, I think Nathan just said it, it's uh, Doctor Strange again. Yeah. <laughs> Dormammu. Oh, I love Dormammu. Dormammu, I've Dormammu. come to bargain. That scene was gold. And it's just Thanos crushing <laughs> Deadpool over and over again with witty one-liner after witty one-liner. And then, like, two hours go by of this. I, I want it to be on screen for two hours of Thanos just weighing into Deadpool every which way possible. You know? Like, I even want, like, a scene of, like, Thanos is a New York City taxi cab driver, and Deadpool is walking across the street, just gets whammed. <laughs> like, because Thanos has the power to like shape reality to what he wants, right? Right. So he could kill Deadpool every possible way for two hours, and it could still be a great movie. Oh my god! <laughs> and then eventually he gives up, and then Deadpool gets in Family Gauntlet and um, comes into our world and kills us all. <laughs> nice. And that's where the comic book starts. Yep. <laughs> ah. I see. Yeah. 
see. Deadpool kills the universe. That's. that's I love right? that. That was. I um. Does anybody else watch the comic story? No, I don't. Okay, well, if you don't like reading, uh. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, long story short. <laughs> But in any case, uh, he does a good job. At, at I I watched his reading of that, and he did a pretty good job. Let me put it that way. Oh, is it yeah. like audiobooks, but for comics? Yeah, it's oh, really that's good. Cool. Well, he does audiobooks, but for comics. But he does like voice acting for it, and like um, like effects and stuff for it. But, uh, well, he no, no, but he'll do like an actual video of it too, oh, okay. of the actual comic book. So like, oh, oh that actually sounds really nice. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. If you ever need like something to watch in the background or something, <clears throat> that's like, really cool. Background noise, <laughs> like, <laughs> laugh track ensues. Um, this is like the third or second podcast in a row that like not enjoying readings come up. Yeah, that happens a Reading lot. for nerds. But we're nerds. Steve, yeah, do like, <laughs> what's wrong here? If it's for the nerds, but the nerds don't even want to do it, what? who's it good for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> you found out my ruse. <laughs> your ruse? Ah, the clever thing you're going to play through ruse. Plan. Oh, it is, of course, part of the three-stage plan. I have many of those. I was finding out the ruse part of the ruse. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It all be says. Layers. Yeah. <laughs> Just like an ogre. Yeah. yeah. Many ogres have many layers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to think of, like... Alright, Batman crosses over into the MCU by accident. Ugh. And he hits <laughs> the back grenade? What's up? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what Steve said. Come on, say it again. And hits Godzilla with a bat grenade. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, I forget that song. This is the ultimate yeah. showdown. Yeah. Ultimate history, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Nice. I haven't heard that in... God. <laughs> we had somebody in here singing it for, like, fucking days. Oh. I wasn't singing it, but I definitely watched it in the last three weeks. No, there was somebody. It might have been Flamel. That makes sense. <laughs> Probably Flamel. But it was somebody. Immortal. Oh, Steve, did you get the picture that Immortal wanted me to send you? No, what picture? It, 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 I sent it to you in Steam. Oh, no, I haven't been on Steam in, uh, honestly, days. One unread message. Hold on. It's from you. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds Personal spicy. Like I felt bad for relaying it. Yeah. Oof. It's uh, it's the scene from Ant Man, where he's like, "All right, guys, I've got a master's degree in electrical engineering, and I custom him a Baskin Robbins, and he's like, welcome to Baskin Robbins.'" <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a like a Reddit post or something, so they just text underneath it. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember it's what beautiful. that says. Oof. That's all I have to say about that. Oof. <laughs> oh man. So does anyone else have any bold predictions for Endgame? Boldness. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be very bold. Mm-hmm. Very bold. Very. Okay. And brave. Yes. Very brave and very bold. Okay. Yes. Like Batman. Batman. <laughs> when he ran over Godzilla. Yeah, exactly. Nick knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. But seriously though, if Godzilla made a cameo. It'd yeah. be fucking awesome. Yeah, I'd love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanos Except tries to punch Godzilla, like Godzilla's just like, who hit me with that fly? <laughs> and eats him. Oh my god. Godzilla controlling the Infinity Gauntlet, and he just makes the gauntlet fit his, like, little hand. That's what he wishes for with the gauntlet. Yeah, Aww, he wants it to fit. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he doesn't do anything. Now just every Godzilla movie, he's wearing the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> he's the only one who will ever fit again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... 
actually adorable. I like our movie ideas better than what I'm going to say, probably. <laughs> Alright, where's our budget? Yep. Someone give us a movie. <laughs> Let I, us see this. It would be horrible, but I'll love it. Guarantee it's better than Love Guru. What? Mm. Guaranteeing. I to see that's, that. a, that's a hot take right there. <laughs> it's not very hot at all. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a very a cool take. take. Yeah, it's very... That's maybe mild at the best. <laughs> Old movie. <laughs> what movie is this? The Love, Love Guru? What the hell is Love Guru? Oh, you should treat yourself. It... <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Choose you, I yourself. like that film. <laughs> I, I want to see it because I wanted to see it when I was young. Um, and I, I've not seen it. Ever. So it wouldn't... It may have... At the time, it probably would have just been like nostalgia, like, I'm going to the movie. Yeah. But, like, now, even though I don't like to say I didn't like a movie, um, I think maybe I would See. not like it or whatever. See, I don't know. Brecken... I trust my opinion more now than I would have then. Fair. Brecken needs to watch a Death Note movie with me, and she won't. Oof. Why are you shaming me for this? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand the shaming in this one. I heard that was shit. Everyone did. Yeah, it was. Tony liked it. Um, yeah, I thought it was I okay. Seen it. I haven't watched the original Death Notes either. Oh, uh, then Nathan, out of anyone else, would probably think it was alright. Maybe if he hasn't seen the original Death Notes. Why are you trying to convince your girlfriend to watch something that I heard was shit? He wants to hurt me. <laughs> no, but watching bad movies is fun sometimes, though. No, I get that. Um. Because he also makes the argument that, like, if you don't watch it as, you know, an adaptation of Death Note, like, to the it's, book. Uh, it's like a mediocre movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I don't think it's gonna be, uh, but I can't say anything, I haven't watched it. Well, yeah, okay. I'm just saying, like, as itself, it's like a solid 5.5 5 out of 10, if you take it, like, as a movie. Because, um... People, like, in my family and people I know who never saw Death Note actually thought, I'm like, oh, this is a cool concept and everything. Like, this wasn't bad. So, it's like, you know, like, I feel like, and actually, I'm going to bump it up to at least a six because Wilm the Foe looks down. fucking awesome. From what I have seen, he does look pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. he looks really Well, great. if it was, like, a 30-minute, like, short movie and it was just Wilm the Foe, as Ryuk. It's just him sitting in, like, a, a I would love room it. just talking. I'd be... <laughs> dude, seriously, though. Like, that was the only good part of the movie. Like, he is the only human being in the world that looks like Ryuk. No, that's fair. <laughs> it's good casting. Like, I'll So it's that. like, yeah. No, but on this, like, there's some times where even in a sh really shitty movie, if there's one character who I thought was really cool in it, I'm like, yeah, no, I don't... This... It was worth my time. Like, I really like that that random character. <laughs> it's like Brecken, you attach to random characters often. I do. I do. Yeah. Your favorite character in uh, Deadpool Season 1. Not Deadpool, I'm sorry. Um, oh, Daredevil? Uh, Daredevil Season 1 was Dimitri. Yeah. He's the best one. And he's uh, a Dead Russian the mobster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who um, was in it for like five episodes. User entered your channel. Welcome back, Sky. <gasps> I don't know what happened. Go! Oh, you died. Thanos snapped. Hey, you died and Ant Man brought you back. Hey. <laughs> you see Ant Man? <laughs> Ant Man took a lot of crack cocaine. It was Godzilla. It was Godzilla. That's who did it. Yeah, Godzilla has the Infinity Gauntlet, guys. We've already talked about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Steve, we talked about pre-podcasts about a topic, and um, the topic was to tell a story, and you want people to guess whether the story was from your childhood or within the last two to three years. Oof. And you want to tell a story that, um, you want to try to stump people into not knowing which one it is. Okay. So, did anyone else take time to think of their story? Or do we yeah. need more time? Mine's kind of short, though. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a very long story. Okay. 
I mean, I guess I have one. Do you? Yeah. I, uh, I didn't think about it. Okay. Then, um, we can go in the order of people who have one. Sky, did you think about it? Yes. Okay. Then, um, how about we we'll start with Sky? Okay. Uh, I'm not one to really cry or feel emotion, I guess, when it comes to movies or TV shows or whatever. But when I watched, uh, what's it called? Fucking, fucking, fucking Ghost in the Shell. There was a scene with the, uh, did you, did you guys, did, did all of you see? I have not. I, I, I'm not talking about the movie, I'm talking about, um. The anime? I think it's, I think it's standalone complex. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Uh. But there's, there's one scene where one of the Tachikomas, it, yeah, I don't know if anyone is planning on seeing it. I don't know if I can spoil it. I, I feel like if we haven't seen it by now, it has okay, been out for so long. Yeah, that's fair. One of the, one of the just Tachikomas, which is just, just like giant-ass robotic spiders that are fucking crazy as shit, but they're so cute to me. Uh, one of them, or actually quite a few of them, die. And it's just that, that I can't really explain the death scene, but it's like the, they're, the way they die or how they go out is just so sad to me. And that was the one time in my whole life that I've ever teared up at a show or some sort of form of media. Oh. Yeah. And so our decision here was this Sky recently? Or was this <laughs> Sky as a child or younger person? I want to say recently. Sky's a pretty... He's a he's a pretty uh, sensitive guy, you know. So, do we want to come to a consensus as a group, or do we all want to go as this uh, on our own ways? Uh, I also feel like it's recent. So, okay. How about we all say our own thing, but like if a consensus is made, a consensus is made. Yeah. See, it would be cheatsy doodling to look up when Ghost in a Shell came out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty old. I mean, you can't tell us yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess you could have watched it. Well, yeah, I was going to say, just because yeah. it came out, like, if someone told you they cried during watching the Titanic, they could have watched it yesterday and cried. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Dude, Whitney Houston gets me every time. Yeah. doesn't matter how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> My heart will go on by Celine Dion. Everyone? Anyone? Huh? Your has <laughs> nothing to fear. It's beautiful. We've been sung to twice tonight, and yeah. I'm just so happy. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brecken, hmm? was this Sky as a younger wee lad, or recently? Uh, it's hard to tell, just from the way he's talking about it. I'm going to say that it was a while ago, so when he was younger. So you're going with younger. So, so far, um, we have Nick and Steve saying recently... Brecken saying younger. Nathan, what do you think? I think it was younger because, uh, purely because, um, my brain was like, oh, the original Ghost in the Shell is, like, ancient. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so that's, is that two and two? Sounds like you. Okay, yeah. so I, I, my decision shifts the scales in one way. Oh, my God. Oh, my. So it's like, I could picture Sky doing this recently. I, I really could. But, like, for some reason, I. Sky, I. Is, so you said this was the only time you've ever cried during, like, a TV show, movie, or anything? Ever. ever. Really? And I'm proud to see it, too. That's, yeah. that's, that's deep. That's an emotional scene, man. That's <laughs> deep, homie. Like. Because. I've definitely cried at way more things than that. <laughs> you know, it's just like. Yo, if there's a cute dog and something bad happens to you in the movie, it's done. Oh, it's over. It's... Yeah. They're, they're pouring, man. As sad as it is, it's, uh, it doesn't make me cry, but when a giant-ass fate anime, like, spider robot thing dies, man, that's that's what it's over. <laughs> that's so sky! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so sky! Uh, oh, I get you. Robot death is wor worst death. Okay. I'm gonna actually say that this was recent. Yeah. Uh, is it Green Tuna? Yeah, so um, everyone has given their uh, their guess. So which, what is it, Sky? 
it is recent. Oh. It is recent. When I first watched it, it was like, it was just about almost three years ago, I think. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Man, holy shit. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep that night, man. I just kept <laughs> thinking about the touch moment. Just tidy spiders. How, how we could have saved him. Oh, man. That was a good-ass show, too. Definitely top tier. Nice. Um... I have to look these things up, because now I'm so curious. Yeah, me too. Um, they're really for, good robots. Yeah, it sounds like good yeah, robots. Yeah, they're the best robots. And uh, for yeah. some reason, Sky, I, like, my, I didn't say this out loud, but my decision was based off of, like, I feel like you didn't start watching anime until, like, the last few years. I could be wrong. Damn. But, like... Nah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Pretty, pretty recent. Yeah, so I'm like, that's where my, like, brain was. I'm like, would, would Child Sky... Would Mama Sky even watch, let, like, little little baby Sky watch us? Who knows? Oh, dude, probably not. You have to keep in mind, you have to keep in mind that I watched Borat when I was, like, in fourth grade. Never mind. Oh, wow. Never mind. I, I take back everything I said. Sorry, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason I am the way I am. That day changed Sky forever. <laughs> <laughs> What's your origin story, Borat? Borat. <laughs> it's a good movie, though. It's me, Borat. <laughs> oh man. Um. What was this saying? Okay. Uh, does anyone want to volunteer to go next? Cricket, cricket. Yeah. I don't have any good stories. You guys know all my stories. I tell them a lot. That's why it's hard to sometimes, but. It could be something very small, Steve, too. I don't have a lot of small stories. It could be something very big, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brecken, do you want to go next? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um, so, I went on a trip to Disney World uh, with my family, and we were eating at this place called the Crystal Palace, where you get to see all the uh, Winnie the Pooh characters. But it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and I've always been the sort of person where it's like, if I eat too much, I get very tired. And I'm also way too into buffets. So it was like the perfect <laughs> storm. Uh, and my sister got up to go to the bathroom, and I was so tired that I actually pushed our chairs together, and then curled up on the chairs. <laughs> and fell asleep. Uh, to the point where a waitress walked by and went, oh, how old? And I'm just not going to say the age, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's where our guess comes in. So, we're going to go, Nathan, when do you think this was? Was this when Brecken was a young lass? Or do you think this is when Brecken was older? Now, obviously, this is like some sort of double, triple, the, the list can go on, uh, fake out. <laughs> <laughs> because Tony was like, alright, try and stump everybody and uh, this obviously sounds like a little kid story um, but Brecken knowing that might have been like, oh well this is too easy they'll think that it's a like a fake out so then they'll be like ah, Nathan, do you think I'm story. smart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah Aww. I'm with Nathan. I think it's a kid's story. I know where he's going with this. Okay. Um, Sky? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go with the norm. Let's go with... I would yeah. say, if Steve agrees with me, I feel pretty good, because he knows your role in Secret Hitler before you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Nick? Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna go... Sh uh, straight to it and say it's a childhood story because uh, the the how old comment from the waitress was very cute and, and definitely definitely that. So I knew the answer to this as Brecken was saying it. So should I just abstain then? Yeah, I abstain. Brecken, go ahead. Yeah, I was eighteen. <laughs> Ouch. <Brecken>. Yeah. <laughs> I miscounted the fake outs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, I think we got we got dead. Mhm. Mm yeah, I knew the answer to the story, so I'm like, ah. I hate this story. I love it so much. <laughs> like, 
I didn't mean to embarrass my family. I just wanted to like lay down real quick. Well, I think I don't think it's an embarrassing story. I think it's an adorable story. No. Like, to me, I'm like yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> to no. Me, I, my, find it, my father, I find it endearing. My father was the one that had to say. 18 <laughs> to how old? Like, I curled up so small Aww. that she actually thought I was a child. Aww, that's so cute. No, though. not To all. me, that's cute. <laughs> um, Alright. So, anyone want to volunteer to go next? Um, I guess I'll go. There you go. So, I went to go see a horror movie. Um, it was in the theaters, so I cannot tell you the title. Okay. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say, like, I'm particularly easy to scare, but something about this one kind of messed me up, like, more than I had realized. Um, and, like... For like the next three nights, uh, like three or three or four, somewhere around there, like I just had these like horrible nightmares that like the nightmares in themselves weren't particularly scary, but they kind of pertained to the movie. And then, like as the nightmare ended, I would like slowly wake up with this horrible feeling of dread, like this impending just like something's something's around me that shouldn't be. <laughs> he saw Shrek in theaters. <laughs> uh, is it bad that I'm like, I relate to this feeling? <laughs> so, uh, so is that, um, that's the story then? That's about it, yeah. Okay, so Sky. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh... I feel like Nathan is the sort of kid to watch horror movies as a child too. Like, well, I guess maybe it doesn't When you say two, are you referring to Borat as a horror movie? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it depends on how old you are, really. But, uh. I'm gonna go with recent. I'll go with recent. Who are you with, my dude? Uh. Oh, you're talking to him? Nathan. That's good to know, by the way, Sky, though. <laughs> He's a re I feel like that might be too telling. That is fair, because if he says that he went with just, like, a friend, then you'd yeah. be like, oh, well, little kids in a horror movie, or, you know, you just sort of would have to be, like, the parent there. Yeah. So, and if he'd said parent, then you're like, ah, oh, child, you know. Yes. So, Steve, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, uh, I'm Using thinking he was a child, because he's trying to fake us out with, uh, theater age restrictions. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. What about you, Brecken? Um. I'll be back in a moment. I'll say, uh, this was, like, a more recent thing. Just because I, I don't know, I feel like horror movies, like, freak me out, uh, like, to the point of nightmares sometimes, like, worse now than when I was little. Because when I was a little, I'd just, like, cover my eyes and that'd be it. Um, I'm not really sure, though, so... <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you're, you're going recent, or...? I'll say recent, Okay, yeah. so, to recap, uh, what did Sky say? Sky said recent? I think so. Uh, Steve said little. Yeah. Brecken said recent, so we're 2-1. Nick, what do you think? I'm going to go with, uh, this was when he was a child, because it, it would make for a much better story if he was... Interesting. See, it's like, if I was to guess this based off my own experience, I'm like, I am petrified of horror movies. User entered your so channel. it's like, I would say, like, if it was me, that could be today, or tomorrow, or yesterday, you know? <laughs> so, off of that, and not wanting to feel horrible about this, I'm going to say recently, and hoping that other people do this, except now that I said recently... I feel like it was when he was a child. <laughs> Anyways, I'm locking my answer recently. <laughs> so, Nathan? Uh, this was recently. It oh. was The Curse of Yadur, or La Llorona. That's the one. Ugh. They keep sending me ads for it, and I'm, I'm like, 
I don't, don't like, like this ad. Report ad. Report <laughs> ad. <laughs> they keep showing it. And I'm like, why? And now they started making them unskippable, and I'm like, why are you doing this? <laughs> All right. It's the worst. All right. Does anyone want to volunteer to go next? Mm. Okay. okay. So, uh, on, a on a yearly basis, basis because, because this happens at Easter, my my family, the even extended family, family, all comes to this very fancy golf club, club and we eat lots and lots and lots of fancy people food. Now, now mind you, my grandmother is a member uh, of this place, so you get to go there yearly, it's a buffet, and the place is decked out with food. There's a separate butchery station, there's a separate Sunday station, there's a separate station for just pastas, separate station for just, just like salads and stuff. It's got a lot of stuff. And one Easter, my cousins decided, all right, we're going to see who can eat the most food. <laughs> now, 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 the, the youngest cousin, he ate about eight plates of food oh, God. before he couldn't eat any more plates of food. Now, mind you, this is not counting dessert items. We, we all had Sundays afterwards. <laughs> The, the, the next, next oldest, uh, she had, had about five, five plates of food. food. My brother had about six plates of food. food. I had about five plates of food. food. And my, my oldest cousin, cousin he, he had about, about 11, 11 plates of food. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> and can you guess who threw up after we left? It was 11 plates of food, boy. The 11 and the 8. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, man. Now you have to guess whether that was recent or when I was a lot younger. So when people keep talking about this fake-out stuff, I'm like, I feel like I'm being faked out because I feel like this would be some little kid thing. Because I'm just like... Now, now, mind you, the oldest cousin is, I think, around 30 now, comparatively. So even as a little kid story... He, he would still, still be, be pretty, pretty old, old at this point. Okay, so he would have, because even when Nick was a little kid, so if he's like thirty, he would, he's got like about he, seven still, years on Nick. You'd still be teen. Yeah. So. Well, Eleven plates of food. So I'm going when he was younger. That's that's what I'm gonna lock in. Bracken. Uh, I'll say younger too. Um, that is a lot of food, though. It's, that's intense. Oh, it's so much food. Um, so much food. Yeah, I'll, I'll say younger. Yo, Yo man, can a young kid eat that much food? Like, 11 You plates. would be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Steve's still not here. Alright, we're gonna take Steve is still not here. <laughs> um, Sky, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to go against the current and say it was recently. Ooh. Because, man, I can't imagine a kid eating that much. Okay. I was a big kid, man, so I ate a lot. I mean, I was, I was too, and uh, I couldn't eat 11 plates of food, but I could eat a lot of plates of food. And naked. Yeah. Oh, like being like, oh, who can eat the most food seems like a very kid thing to do to me. Um, that's certainly something I did when I was a kid and went to like CC's. But... I could do that as a kid, yeah. I would do that now. <laughs> it's, what's life with that a little fun? A little bit of juvenile fun. You're going with what, Nathan? I'm gonna say kid. So it's three kids to one recent. Nick? Oh, it was absolutely when I was younger. Okay. Because <laughs> to me, I'm like, I'm like, I'm just imagine like a if this was recently like a late twenties or like a thirty year old man eating eleven plates of food, and I'm like, I mean, sometimes we come back to that competition, but none was nearly as glorious as that one. <laughs> no, because kids like kids do stuff like that. They can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like, I actually can eat less now than, like, when I was really little. And especially, like, yeah. for contests. And, and even the two that, the, that, that wind up throwing up, up, they were just, they just bounced straight back right after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he did mention they had Sundays after, unless the Sundays were before to throw up. Before. Oh, that would have been funny if it was after, though. <laughs> um, that actually reminds me of when I was a kid I actually had a pizza eating contest With my cousins and my brother Oh Oh I won Aww. Yeah come on I've been I was a very very uh, chubby child Let's say And and it's like oh an excuse to eat even more pizza Alright <laughs> And it was Domino's pizza and, oh. Yeah, and I ate eight slices. <laughs> Shit, my yeah. God. <laughs> that I was a child. <laughs> um, Alright, so Steve isn't here, so I guess I'll go mine. There are two stories floating in my head, and I'm really struggling picking between them. So, maybe I'll do both of them? Depending on what people feel. Um, anyone object? No. Okay. So the first one is I got my... This, these are both very short stories, by the way. <laughs> but um, the first one is I got uh, minor surgery, and my parents bought me a stuffed animal. Well, well that's reason. recent. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Yes. You can't fool me. Do you mean to repeat it, Nick? I said you can't, you can't fool me. So, Nick, what are you saying? Oh, it's, oh, it's recent. recent. Okay. Brecken? I'm going to say past. Uh, Steve's still not here? Okay. Sky? Recent. Nathan? Shoot, man. Uh, well... Um... You said it was minor surgery? Yes. Oh, that sounds... Kind of like something a kid would have. So are you going with kid? Yeah. I really hope it's recent, dude. So is, recent is it two to two then, I'm hearing? I think so. It was... Drum roll. Crap. Yeah. When I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's actually this one. I'm pointing to Brecken. Yeah. Her name's Scamp. Oh, and it was, I got, um, an ear tag removed. Which, that's technically, um, plastic surgery. You got a, you got a what? Room? Ear tag. So, what an ear tag is, it's like an extra bit of skin that some babies get. And, um, it like, it hangs near your ear, and it just hangs down. Like, oh. I wonder, I'm sure it, it'll come up if I Google it. Oh, <laughs> Person ear tag, yeah, new. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's gonna, gonna be a gross, gross Google search. search. Images, yeah, it's so it's okay. It's not like any of those, but it's like that's not how I remember it. But like, yeah, it's more like just like a little little extra piece of skin, like next to your ear. None of these have it like I how I had it, so I'm not seeing it. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Would your parents buy you stuffed animal now if you had minor surgery? Yeah, probably. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Knowing me? Come on, guys. Like, <laughs> Absolutely. I think Bracket might even get me a stuffed animal if oh, I went through. <laughs> um, so I have a second one. And I'll, I'll tell that too for, for fun's sake. Uh, yet again, a very short story, so that's why I feel like telling two is not a bad idea, because I have... It's literally just, this happened. Which one was it? <laughs> um, I ate uh, ravioli for dinner. I thought it was delicious. It was very good. And then I got super sick. Then I threw it all up. Bracken. Oh. Bracken, was this recent? <laughs> was this... <laughs> like yesterday, dude. <laughs> was this when I was a child? Or was this recently? And recently refers to the past three years, about. Uh, I'm going to say recent. Okay. Brecken says recent. Nick? I'm going to say recent and double down. 
Ooh. Steve, you're still not here? Good talk, Steve. Uh, <laughs> Sky? Uh, yeah, when you figured out you, uh, you were lactose intolerant. Yeah, I was saying that too. So, it could be as. It's right, the only thing. It's gotta be like beans or something on there, like some, maybe some parmesan. Yeah. So, Sky, you going with Friesen? Did you, Did you recently figure out you had you were lactose? Uh, I feel like is that fair to tell? No, it's not. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> uh, okay. It was when he was like eighteen or seventeen. Ah, Steve's way. <laughs> uh, I'll go with. I'll go with Bruce. Okay. Uh, Steve, do you have a guess on it? Or did you hear it at all? I didn't hear it. So. Uh, I ate ravioli. I thought it was delicious, and I got very sick. And I threw it all up. Probably recent because aforementioned finding out about lactose intolerance. And celiac disease, by the way. Future on. Um, and uh, Nathan? I'm also going recent. Okay. Can I get another drum roll? This was also when I was a kid. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> You duped me. Uh, yeah. Um, I actually, as I said it, I'm like, oh, everyone's going to say recently because of food allergies. And now I'm thinking of it. That could be why it was, but it was just super undeveloped as a kid. <laughs> and I just ate a lot of ravioli. I think this is like one of the few stories I haven't heard before. So I'm like, shit, what? <laughs> yeah. No, I was a little kid and um, ate a lot of ravioli. I'm like, this is delicious. And then like an hour later, I just threw it all up. Aw, you artsed. Yeah. Aw. And I wouldn't eat ravioli for years. Oh. <laughs> That's the saddest part. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, unless Steve has a story, everyone has gone then. I have literally no stories. I think I haven't told you guys. Well, by you guys, you're referring to Nick and I? Um, I think most of you. You could try it, and I guarantee at least probably Nathan, Sky, and Brecken haven't heard it. Because I abstained uh, myself from Brecken's story. I mean, Sky's heard a lot of my story. Or at least Brecken and Nathan probably haven't heard it, so... I, I don't know. Brecken, I almost guarantee Brecken hasn't heard it. <laughs> I mean, fair. That's, that's probably fair, but I just don't know, you know? You know, just tell one, and if everyone's like, we all know this story, Steve... Then, you know. Ow. Oh, I know one that Steve could tell. What? You could, uh, <laughs> poke him it. Yeah, I just elbowed the desk uh, by accident. Now, while I could <laughs> mention this, uh, I will not for uh, recent developments. Uh oh? Oh, this is definitely, definitely a post podcast thing then. Yes. Post podcast. Post podcast. Fork out the dollars. Five hundred dollars. You two can hear this. Oh, no, 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 that'd be too obvious. Hmm. There, are, there are a lot of stories I have that I could use that you wouldn't be able to guess, but I don't want to tell them on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. And yes, Nick, there's a different. That one. Yeah, that that is kind of obvious. Mm, not to people that don't live nearby us. Just try it. Just try it. Okay, so I was working at one of my my jobs, right? And um, so I had. We, we had uh, been, been given a task, task and that was to organize some printer ink, right? right? And uh, in organizing this printer ink, we had decided that um, a box for it needed to be uh, constructed. Uh, and so we built a box for it out of printer ink. Sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah. Does anyone want to take a guess? Because I actually know this answer to this as well. Like, I'm hoping it's recent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to go with recent just because I can, I can imagine Steve doing that. 
<laughs> and I sure as hell would have done it with him. This guy did. <laughs> oh, we all would have been. Let's be Absolutely. honest here. Uh, so, Bracken, what are you going with? Uh, recent. Sky? Recent. Nathan? People left, so I'm going to say it was a long time ago. Okay, so two to one. Steve, was it recently, or was it when you were a kid? It was in high school. Yeah, so like, it's more towards a recent side of the... It was, it was in, like, like, sophomore year of high school. Yeah, I remember this. I remember hearing about this. It was this. real good. Yeah. yeah. Which I respect. We need to do that again. We should just all come together, Steve, get a bunch of ink, and we'll make a fort. Deal the high school's ink supply. Yeah, I'll fuck with that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. They wouldn't miss it. No, they don't We'd need have it. to get Dylan to do it for us. Do they yeah. really need it? Yeah, the answer is yes, but no. <laughs> they can have a fence up here. What are you talking about? They don't. Also, also, we're, we're playing, playing Minecraft, Minecraft in case you're wondering. I was going to say, like, what do you mean put a fence up? But, like, did, did Nick show up to your house and put a fence up randomly somewhere? No, no, Nick, uh, Nick is telling me all of my OSHA violations that I've made. Ah, uh, yes, you should probably explain the OSHA violations. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you see... That gives me another idea for a story for you. When people exist, they violate OSHA. And when people violate OSHA, they violated OSHA. Ah, uh, no, that won't work. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oof. I hope yeah, you're not putting more OSHA signs. In so, my this house. isn't really like a topic, but I was given it uh, thought recently. And uh, I sort of like, I will have to like think about it and like figure out a, a direction for it. But if people would be down. I was thinking about um, within the next like month or so, possibly bringing back um, D and D. You know, it's funny because I had a friend who was asking about that. Yeah. And um, again, if you want to use the Friday night platform for a kickoff session, mm -hmm. I'd say I'd say totally go for it. Cause, yeah, because I was going to talk to everyone, and I was in a. See if do we want this to be a podcast thing, because we used to do, uh, for a really long time, we did D&D uh, &D podcast D &D instead. <laughs> um, and uh, Or we could do this outside of podcast time. It would be just have to be something like we figure out, because I feel like Mark would not have time for it. No. Because um, Mark, Mark is such a busy person right yeah, now. Yeah, he's got so much going on. Yeah. So that's also why it's like if we were doing it, we might wait until it hits the summer months because that Mark won't have school at the very least. Um, so maybe then, too. Because um, I, the reoccurring characters, uh, Sky, Nathan, Kyle, Chris too, but Chris, uh, Chris is also very busy. So I was thinking maybe even doing like I don't even know if I should tell you what my ideas were yet, but. Um, maybe also. I, I talked to Chris today. Yeah, I mean, like he's like, he just doesn't come on podcasts or anything anymore. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. He, I guess he's busy in that sense. Yeah, he's busy in the in the slots in which I would have normally uh, seen him. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. But um. Yeah. I don't know whether... Because we're going to do the Friday night one. That I think that would be a diff should be a different session, possibly. Um, I don't know, though. Because it depends who's doing it, right? Because if it's people who can show up for a Friday night thing, but wouldn't normally be able to do, yeah. um, like, a Saturday night podcast, then maybe uh, it would, okay. you know, be a different thing. I don't know. Go for what you want. Yeah. But I, I also I wanted saying, to make sure I brought this up idea because I know Sky and Nathan would be here. I was just saying you could use the Friday night as a kickoff yeah. if you wanted to combine forces for like a week and just, just um, yeah. And obviously like, Brecken, you're more than welcome as well. I realize yeah. you can get a really high turnout by using that Friday night platform. Yeah. 
Like it's it's, it's, it's ridiculously high. high. The only thing for D and D, it's hard to do huge groups. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, that's when you just treat it as a one shot for a night. Yeah. Like if I was to do like a one shot, that'd be okay. Like that would be something a little different. Just, just do it as a, a band of merry skeletons, skeletons disguising themselves as humans and adventuring into towns. That'd be adorable. Yeah, that is adorable. I, I have the one-page RPG for that. That sounds spoopy. <laughs> yeah. It, it's really great. <laughs> I actually really like that. I will, uh... I'll send you a copy the next time we hang out. Nice. Please do. <laughs> I actually really like this. Yeah, I think I was going to do that for New Year's or, or Halloween. Oh, or we were, I remember talking about that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, would have been down. That might have even been like 4th of July. Like, it could have been last year's 4th of July, too. I don't know. But it might have been New Year's. I don't know. All these things blend together in my brain. Your yeah, time isn't real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So I was thinking about that because... What I was thinking about us doing, um, I would have to like remember where we are in the story for the lat if we were gonna continue the last one, and I would probably just do like a gap in time. And that would explain why like some characters aren't there anymore, right? Or like, um, you know, because I had to write one person out of the, the story already. Because uh, Kyle's brother was doing it for a few like a month or so, but then. You know, his, his, uh, I don't remember if his wife or his fiance, girlfriend, whatever, got pregnant. So, oh. so yeah, he didn't really have the time to. No, those sound like some Yeah, I think, I think the kid's been born since then, too. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, no, Mitch had, yeah. <laughs> Mitch has a reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I had to write him out. But, um, yeah, no, because we would still have a few of the characters. We have our. Uh, Gil and Princess Consuela here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's some weird relationships going on, going on there, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd get Brecken in on it. Get her character. Oh, man. Gil, Knight of the Snakes. <laughs> yes. Uh, what was it? Princess Serpentina Hissy Fest? Yeah, that's the one. Man, Brecken named that one, so. He did? Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> that snake even made cameos later on. <laughs> yes. have a hat. She had a crown. <laughs> so, hey, that's a hat. kind of a hat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a hat. I was like, one of the like central points of the first episode I was on. Yeah, it was actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, dog loves it too. Yep. Oh, Kyle's caterpillar. Oh, oh my God, right. the caterpillar! I loved his caterpillar. That was cute. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the bird, the bird, the freaking bird. <laughs> that was good. Oh. Nathan, do you want to tell anyone who uh, wasn't part of that what the, what you mean by the bird? So Kyle had a caterpillar. And it pork instead of doing whatever the hell caterpillars do. Yeah. It went pork. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> Kyle loved this caterpillar. Yeah. He at first tried to fight it off, and then he realized that it borks. So he was like, this is my new friend. Yeah. This is my new favorite thing in the world. <laughs> so we go to, like, the big, this big, like, city, and... Um, Mark's character, Mark's character had been chasing down these guys that had stolen our, like, our carriage or whatever? Yeah, your, your cart, and it had, like, sheep in it. Or goats, yeah. sorry. Goats, that was it. Oh, god, what a friggin' menagerie we had. I love the goat episode. <laughs> so, Mark finds our, our carriage. It's, like, been completely emptied out. None of our stuff's in it. And he's like, well, shoot. He like miles ahead of us because he's by far the most athletic of the party and also the tallest of the party. Yeah, <laughs> we got a lot of short boys. Um, so Mark's like, all right, I'll uh, uh, not to worry. I'll uh, I'll use speak with animals and I'll send some birds 
to go find my friends, and um, they'll the birds will lead them to me, so we can all be reunited. So the birds find us, or the bird, I guess, and um, they like hover around us. And then it sees Kyle's friggin' caterpillar <laughs> on the opposite shoulder of Kyle. And Kyle takes his giant great axe and shoves it into his shoulder trying to kill the bird. <laughs> oh no. So, a few failed medical checks later, it is like, his, His arm's, arm's nearly been chopped off. Yep. Um, he's lying on the ground dead. I'd have to scuttle him into an alley. Everywhere. And he's okay. Yeah. He has no regrets either. No. Did you go check at the bird? I I think he killed the bird, right? I'm back. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he rolled. Oh, no. Did he roll like a nat twenty on it? I think. <laughs> I think so. So well, he rolled a nat twenty, but he was Wait, aiming what? at the bird on his shoulder. So he hit it as perfect as hard as you can. Because I even asked him, <laughs> "How hard are you hitting this thing?" And he's like, "With all of the might in my body, or something." <laughs> This is not lethal force for a bird. This is like lethal force for a goblin. Yeah. <laughs> or another him. <laughs> that was spectacular. This got so deep into the shoulder. <laughs> so that happened, Nick. By the way. I see. Uh, More podcasts. That's why I do miss the the D and D sessions because of like there was a bunch of fun shenanigans in there. <laughs> oh no. Shenanigans. Yeah. Oh man. And then uh Sky's character just reviving everyone. <laughs> yeah. I'm an overpowered Shenny who yeah. is adored by a short I don't know, dwarf or whatever the hell it is. He's a halfling. He's a halfling. halfling. And I apparently adored Gil. No, not Gil, sorry, uh this character. The Viola player. Or the I forgot what he played. Oh, Oritz was his name. Oritz. Yeah. Oritz, right. Yeah, there was one uh, episode where Oritz got a uh, like a band of five women to follow him. He enticed he enticed me and the woman I think with his ukulele. That's what it was. Yeah. Do you guys also remember the episode where he got an STI? Uh, <laughs> not because of me, by the way. Just keep that in mind. Uh, guy, aren't you playing as an STI? That'd actually be a lot of fun. <laughs> A D and D campaign. A D. Oh, a D and D bacterial campaign. <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. <laughs> like you guys are the. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, but um, yeah, no, there's some good old times in there. Yeah, or it's got a um an STI, because I I told him to make like medicine check after medicine check and he failed all of them. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh god. And, um, their, uh, I'll, we'll say, like, wizard friend, like, um, made him, uh, an antidote for it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So he had to remember to put it on for, like, eight straight sessions. <laughs> you got ointment. Yeah, it was ointment, yeah. And <laughs> he had to <laughs> apply it. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, the reason he had the ointment was because the uh, the woman he had slept with um, worked at that store. So he knew that uh, people would come in for the ointment because of, yeah. Um, wow, that's a business woman. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was just like... It's definitely a business. Didn't, how many, he had like 965 potions or something. Oh. And every time, I believe Nathan, who was your character, would go in and it's like, could you tell me that list of potions again? <laughs> yeah, and then I would just, like, be like, alright, just, uh, I don't know, I mean, 
I'm feeling like, uh, just like normal healing potions. Yeah. <laughs> and like I would say that he spends the next hour and a half describing in great detail every potion and what it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, shenanigans were had. So I do miss it a little bit, though. So, yeah. And, like, I feel like there's some stuff left in that world that you guys haven't haven't done yet. There's a few big plot points. Um, the main boss you guys met still stills out there. His name's Simon. <laughs> um, I killed Anvil. That's, uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> totally didn't mix up the names and said Anvil when you said big bad evil guy. That was totally not what just happened. Anvil again? So there was a one. I think Anvil might have been like the first bad guy they contact. Yeah. And Anvil has come back like two more times because there's like a whole like shadowy figure thing going on, and they're like uh, they're like you know they're shadowy figures, and um, they brought back Anvil. So they had to fight him again. Giant gelatinous mess. Yeah. The mind remembrance. So you know he might be back again. <laughs> oh boy. I hope not. Cause he messed me up in that second fight. He did. Cause he got stronger. Because they're higher right. levels. I mean, no, because plot devices. <laughs> I tried to. I tried to pull like a reference to Infinity War. Yeah. So my character's a, a Tempest cleric, so he uses thunder and hmm. lightning and stuff. So I was trying to make it like when, when Thor shows up at Wakanda and he's like, bring me Thanos. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> I like that. I mean, it kind of worked. It brought me Anvil, and then he beat the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I rolled a nat one on one of my cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh... God, everyone is so strong, though. And yeah. every one of the playable characters are so strong <laughs> that, yes. like, I have to make the, the enemies also very strong. <laughs> yep. Nah. Kyle also has a sword that talks to him now. <laughs> so. <laughs> and it tries to get him to do evil things. Yeah, Kyle's just kind of like, alright. <laughs> it's like, cool. It's like, alright, whatever. Yeah. 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 He, he was like in a friendly duel or whatever with uh, Princess Consuela, and the sword's like aimed for the head. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dark. Okay. <laughs> it's a good time. All, yep. You know, no one was hurt in the making of these ED episodes. <laughs> Other than everyone uh, our playable characters went against. They are all very dead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my god, Wrath of the Storm, I miss it. Uh, Wrath of the Storm! <laughs> he hits for 13 points of damage. Alright. Wrath of the Storm! Wrath of the Storm. I love that, um, I forget it's what it's called, Nathan, effect. I don't know if you remember, but Kyle, um, what is it? Something like, like the great weapon master. Or yeah, like and like it, it started. It's like used to be him saying it, but then it just sounded like like growling eventually. <laughs> he's like, rah, 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 and we're like, ah, oh, so he's doing the great weapon master. <laughs> oh, like it was like, uh, what is like when you can attack twice? Uh, action, action surge. No, that's that's uh, that's, that's, fighter. that's a fighter. He was a barbarian. Yeah. Uh, reckless attack. I, yeah, it was reckless yeah, attack. Rec <laughs> he went. Where was I? <laughs> 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 so funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause like, yeah. He first he used to say reckless attack, and then he got really into his character, <laughs> and then, and I'm like, this is fair. <laughs> Kyle's character had like a five or six intelligence, by the way. Oh. Yep. Oh, so also a female, isn't it? I think. A, a like a female like It. He's a special. <laughs> it, I don't yeah. even know anymore. <laughs> it, it, it's a deep gnome of some description. Yeah, and he identifies as a stalactite. Yeah. And uh, I believe he's a female. I think. It's hard to know. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't really know what's going on anymore. This is this is what the D and D campaign was, Steve. You know. <laughs> Yeah this, yeah, this is, is why I don't play D&D. You know, I feel like you'd have fun if you, you played this session. It's a bunch of random fun friends, and you get to kill things. It's, it's weird, weird at first, because you're like, like, oh, this is like, like, like role-playing or whatever. Hmm. Like, it's, it's kind of weird. But if you can get past that, if, if you're not like the guy that sits down at the table, and the, the DM starts doing a voice, and you you can you can sit down instead of being like, oh, that's what we're playing? Yeah, I gotta... I'm late to a dentist appointment. But like, I mean, I, but I'm always late to a dentist appointment. <laughs> but if you can get past that, and you can like play your character, right? Like, you have to, you have to get into your character. Yeah. I'm it, it, really, so much fun. really bad at that. It, well then, not make a character role that's just you. Yeah. Just make you as a character. You can really make anything as a character. And like, for if Steve, you ever wanted to play, I would definitely help you. Kyle would, Nathan would, we'd all help you like make a character too. Oh, yeah. Like, it, there's a little bit that goes into it, but like, it's not bad. Brecken, right? Yeah. No, even like, I have really bad anxiety. And uh, I still manage to have fun with that kind of that kind of shit especially like our old session with mark yeah that was a good time <laughs> yeah it was fun good old time yeah i don't know i've been missing D, &D so i want to do it again in some fashion yeah. it's a good old time let me just open up this book of reasons i don't play role-playing games <laughs> that's like there's there's no uh forcing steve to play Steve, if you ever wanted to, you're more than welcome. Because I also am more than willing to have people on as guest characters, too. Oh, yeah. Um, as if, like, uh, if you're ever around... I actually had a few characters made in case of guest characters. Uh, I don't know if I still have access to them. But, um, yeah, because it's like, I, if anyone's like, yeah, I just want to come on for, like, one week. I'm like, yeah, no, we can make this work. You know? So, and there were your, your couple of like treasure hunter characters too. Those were kind of neat yeah. NPCs. They kept uh, I appearing. Their names. I don't remember their names to be honest. Bolthamond and something, maybe. I may have them on Google Drive somewhere. Bolthamond and Volmir are two names. That yeah, are that sounds about it. right. Volmir might be the planet from Infinity War where he got the, the soul stone. Actually, yeah, I think that is what that is. Um. <laughs> I'm looking for it. Uh... Oh, Vortor and Volig. That's the one. I think it's Voltamon, then. It sounds like Pokemon and like Voltorb. Voltamon is something. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> that sneeze, but like. I was like, oh, it's going away. And then I started talking, and I was like, oh, I'm going to sneeze. But then I stopped talking, and it went away again. <laughs> How rude of it. Yeah. That's not cool. That was, that was a strong sneeze, too. Excuse me, sorry, everybody. <laughs> that's, a lot of sorry. that's the first time I've ever heard Nathan scream, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. Good time. Ooh, that was a doozy. Alright. <laughs> I was just scrolling through my Google Drive and I found um, an old uh, screenplay or two I wrote in high school. Maybe one day in the podcast we'll go through and do that. It, I don't know. That's a, is it Turtle Man? There's some predictable turtle guy. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That could be fun too. Make a mini movie episode. It's all takes lots of prep, though. Yeah, <laughs> so there's... maybe just a little yeah. bit. Just, just a little bit. Of prep. Well, if I use the ones that uh, I already made, that um, yeah, it'd probably be fun. <laughs> but um, I haven't. I wrote those a very, very long time ago. God, such a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, high school was a while ago. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. High school was like four years ago. What are you talking about? It was a lot longer than four years ago for me. Um, uh, about five. 
Five, I guess, yeah. Oh, it's only five? Feels yeah, like it's yeah. been longer than that. I think that's because it's like its own like separate. Five years is a long era. time. <laughs> five years is a long time, but it's like. Do 365 days times five, dude. dude. That is a lot. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Over two. Gotta get, Gotta get those Kingdom Hearts, Hearts naming schemes going. Yeah. Oh god. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. There's some really absurd Kingdom Heart names, aren't there? Oh yeah, three five eight over two. Why? I don't know why. I really don't. Does that have something to do with the story? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> what is the story? I don't think they know either at this point. Uh, uh, that, that one is about Roxas. Yeah, which I'm Sora's nobody. I'm replaying that now. The, the first number is the um. Like, like the days uh, leading up to Sora, like waking up. Um, or, no, that's Roxas waking up in the, like the beginning of um, Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh? I don't know what the second number is. Yeah, no, they're just like, it, it's fine. So, in order, apparently, according to this list, the Kingdom Hearts title's names were Kingdom Hearts, that was the first one, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts Coded, Kingdom Hearts Mobile, Kingdom Hearts 358 over 2 days, like you were saying, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts 3D, Dream Drop a Distance, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts X, or 10, I guess. I don't know. Um, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. <laughs> and then Kingdom Hearts 3. That is a lot of... Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it should Even not exist. Even people who play admit it's a mess. It sounds like a real, real fun time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. So, sounds good. <laughs> I was curious to what all of them were called, because I'm like, people always talk about how, like, nonsense most of these names are. And it it holds up. Yeah, no, it's really not exaggeration. Yeah. They're just yeah. bad. <laughs> I mean, have you heard the story of those, of those games? games? Like, uh, oh, like, it, it just gets, gets worse. Yeah, it's crazy. I tried. I sat through a full video of it once with Brecken. I didn't really retain much. God. But... I, <laughs> I'd be worried if you could. Like... <laughs> that was like, is that a half hour or an hour long? I think it was a half hour. Yeah. Of just information trying to make sense of something that does not make sense. Because <laughs> you could just say anime logic and just walk away. Yeah. Or you could deconstruct it yeah. and end up unhappy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that video was the latter of those two. <laughs> the anime logic was not the answer. Mm -mm. I mean, have you tried watching an, uh, an entire recap explained about uh, Adventure Time? No. Oh, God. Because, because even, even the, the shortened, shortened version is, is like a half an hour long. <laughs> I've seen like one episode of Adventure Time ever. Uh, uh, it's, it's good show. show. He has, he has good, good ending. ending. It it was just what like it. So like I I tell this say this to everyone and they're like yeah so, but like it was out of the reach of like when I was watching cartoons anymore. Like at at that time I wasn't you know watching well, I don't know if there was a Cartoon yeah. Network or Nickelodeon one the two Cartoon Network probably if I had yeah. to guess but um yeah I wasn't I wasn't watching stuff on those channels you know uh in that time period cause when did Adventure Time start uh when we definitely shouldn't have been watching cartoons yeah yeah 2010 so I was 14 right yeah for me, I was just out of the phase, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it's actually pretty highly rated. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> so, you know, it must not be bad. <laughs> wow, 100%. That's, that's rare. 
Um, but it's actually really like, like I was watching through some of it. It's actually pretty worth the watch. See, how many episodes are there though? A fucking, a fucking lot. lot. A lot. Yeah. yeah, and you. I would be willing to argue, and this is this is a hot take, that you don't need to watch all of them. It's just that you're going to be missing a little bit of the story where, like, if they're wrapping something up, you might not understand it. Mm. Well, you're still going to get most of the episode anyways. You're just going to miss that little, little tiny nugget that they leave in there for you. Yeah, there are 283 episodes, apparently. I, anytime I go into, like, a show or anything, um... If I see that many episodes, I immediately check out, and I'm like, I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah, I really <laughs> yeah. can't blame you there. It's also like a lot of the early after earlier episodes were just uh, goofing, goofing around. around. Yeah, it was a long time of goofs and then sudden seriousness. See, if like there was a list constructed that um, was like these are the needed to watch episodes, and there were like under fifty of them, probably would do it. I, See, I also feel like, like some of those goof episodes, episodes are necessary to feel uh, connected to the characters. Yeah, that's kind of true, too. It's like, if you don't like the goof, that's it's fair. not your kind of show. Yeah. 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 But, like, that uh, that could be included in the 50 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, Bleach or One Piece, there's that's no evil. fucking way I'd ever touch it. Oh, be- oh no. 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 That that fuck so man. much. There's so much of none of it, like, it can't be worth the time investment. Yeah, like, how many, there's 366 episodes of Bleach, and I know there's the more One Piece. Me. There's so God many One Piece. One Piece is like... Not as bad as you think. 875 Jesus episodes of One Christ. Piece. So, because someone, like, a few years back, were like, you should watch Bleach and One Piece, and I looked up how many episodes, and I laughed. <laughs> And I'm like, this could be yeah. the greatest show ever. 875 episodes? Fuck no. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not worth the investment. I do... Oh, so how long would it take me to even watch all that? I don't have that kind of my time. My girlfriend suggested was that if you wanted to catch up on something like One Piece and do it really fast, just read the manga. Yeah, see, that's... I was going to say, probably going to say read the manga. But because you can do that in a week versus uh, <laughs> even a day if you're really fast about it versus like a month of binge watching. Yeah. No, if there was a show, definitely that like anime wise, if I really want to watch, like know the story, I would I would read the manga. Um. But most things, I'm like I could wait for it to be an anime. Cause like I'm trying to think. There haven't been, like, many, like, animes I've been hyped for lately. The only one, and I still haven't finished it, is uh, My Hero Academia. That show's cool. Mm. Wait, wait, how far are you with that? Uh, I started season three, what is, what's the most recent one? Is that three or four? Uh, three, I think. Yeah, three. Is it three? I think yeah. So. Um, like, I got, like, five to ten episodes in, maybe? Somewhere in there. Very- the rest of that yeah, season. I just keep forgetting about it until we have discussions like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, it just slips my mind. Um, like, did, did you get to the fight scene? I'm gonna say like, no. There's one fight scene. Okay, okay, okay. He, he definitely didn't. Yeah, because you know if you got to the fight scene. The only, like, memorable fight scene I remember is, like, him versus Muscle Man. Definitely not. Yeah. No. 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 I'm. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm just saying they spent about half the animation budget on of the season on one fight scene. That's adorable. I love it. And it's really adorable wasn't the right word, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I more meant like that's amazing. <laughs> like, you need to like. Yeah, because the characters just, are really cool and everything. I just haven't. Um. I haven't had like a kick to go watch it. You know. This is, this is your kick to go yeah. watch. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm getting kicked. Um, <laughs> Consider yourself kicked. Yes, yeah. sir. You, user has been kicked from the server. Don't make, Don't make me do it. No, please not. <laughs> <laughs> you said the word. Because uh, I'm not going to be watching it tonight regardless. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no. I'm trying to think of... There's probably a few animes and stuff that I want to watch. Brecken, you guys... Brecken and Mike... 
and Paige always talk about one anime in particular lately. I can't remember what it's called. One anime in particular. The five one. Oh, no, that's not, like, on par, though, with My Hero. No, I'm just saying you guys talk about it. Yeah, the fucking quintuplet bullshit. No, we're just keeping up with the, the manga on that. Oh, I thought you were watching it. There's also the anime, but, um... I had no idea that you guys were reading this. I yeah. thought you were watching it. No, we're, we're keeping up with the updates. Oh. I just want to know who wins. I like a mystery. See, like, this is how little I know about this stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that this entire time I thought you guys were all watching this. Like, I thought you guys, like, days I wasn't there, watch it. No. No. Um, I mean, it's on Crunchyroll, it's just... It's just so much faster to read. I mean, yeah, yeah as I'm saying, going back to what they were saying, it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like manga, you might read through now. it in 10, 10, 5, 5, 10 minutes, minutes, and, and with an episode that, that might take like two episodes, two episodes to cover that same chapter, chapter you're gonna take an hour for those two episodes. That's fair. Yeah, they probably are gonna be about a half hour each. Yeah, it's so much manga, it's really just dialogue. Okay. More than half the time. So it goes by really quick. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever read a manga. I'm trying to think about I had a Pokemon one when I was very young. Oh. Yeah, Pokemon definitely had a manga at one point, too. Is there still Pokemon manga? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, it was funny because I, I, I got home and I opened it in the first page. What would be the American first page? And it was a little picture of the main character and whichever Pokemon they had. And the character said, uh, the Pokemon's name is saying that you you started from the wrong side. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's really cute. Oh, from, because it's a, they go backwards, right? There you go, now you got it. Yeah, okay, hold up. I'm like, it, it took me a hot second. I'm like, huh? What? <laughs> no, I always thought yeah. those were adorable. It's like, but this is yeah, how I, I hold the book. <laughs> I love those. What? So is there a reason why that's a thing? Uh, their writing system. Is it, does it, Do they write from right to left? Because uh, I, I took so. Japanese class, and I thought they still wrote, wrote from left to right. It's, it's something, something more, more intelligent than us. Than us. Yeah. <laughs> or is it because they write up and down sometimes? I have no idea. This is just... Uh, see, these are things where I, I mean, feel in, really in dumb case, for talking about. <laughs> basically, you have to follow the same reading format, because otherwise they'd have to change the entire chapter to be backwards, and that's just a nightmare. So it's a lot easier to just tell them, oh, read right to left. Huh. Which is a lot easier to do for the consumer than it is for the producer. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. These are just mysteries that I'm like, ah. Oh. You have you guys seen that uh, the meme where it's Chris Pratt and he's like, I don't know what this is and it's been so long I'm afraid to ask. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is what I'm feeling like right now. <laughs> it's like I I have never read a manga. I don't understand how they work. <laughs> and, but it's been so long that I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> and this is my TED talk. Oh, nice. Nice. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> I thought you were doing a Bulby for a second there. Oh, no. Clap, 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 clap. clap. <laughs> slap, 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 clap, clap, clap. Yeah, that's that's in there now. <laughs> Fucking Bulby. I still, I still see, see like new, new Baldy things, things coming, coming out, and I'm like, like no, I I I was okay with the first one. one. The second the one, I was like, all right, I guess it's a thing. thing. Uh, uh, after, after that, that I was just like, no, no, thank you, not anymore. What the hell are you talking about, Baldy? Who? Who? From uh, Jimmy Neutron. Oh, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> 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 
Slap, 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 clap, clap, clap. Yo. 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 Clap, 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 slap, slap, slap. No. Clap, clap, slap, clap. Get out of here. Okay. Um. Good talk. Good talk. Yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end the podcast. Sorry, I got distracted by CS stuff. Because we have to schedule our first two matches. And people weren't replying to me as fast as I was hoping. <laughs> so you, get, you only get like uh, 24 hours to accept or decline. <clears throat> oh my god, tell me that wasn't 20 minutes and that was 20... Oh, I fucked up. What? What? Uh, I guess it's been more than 24 hours. Yeah, I thought it was 20 hours and it was 20 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, uh, shit. That, that's an oopsie. Can you, can you talk to him? Yeah, but people on the ECA usually are, are dicks and won't uh, do it. Well, anyways. Well, anyways. No. no? Yeah, anyways, sorry guys. Uh, this has been episode 277 of Background Noise. I appreciate you guys watching, and goodbye. Pickle Weasel. Pickle Weasel! Pickle Weasel. <laughs>